Surge looking to pull off an upset tip-off. Brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Welcome to, to the Phil Sports Arena. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. It's like Coach Ryan Gregorio, and it is Gabriel joining us on the sidelines. A win here, especially against one of the favorites in the entire conference, could do so much for their confidence. Oh, yes, especially if you here for some of the unfavored teams, the underdogs, to pull off an upset because Terra Firma were so close to doing that as Arana gets a jumper from the elbow. They needed the... Uh, it's just a single coverage. So you're not going to get a lot of open looks from the other side or the other four guys if uh, Arana is being guarded by Jumar. But now, just ito naman si uh, Alex Stockton. Here. Stockton. Marshall Lasser feeds the Kraken inside, who finds Brondial, Brondial, the spin and the finish. Oh, they are just so disciplined with uh, San Miguel knowing exactly how to utilize Junmar Fajardo and a quick cut from the weak side by Brondial. He was spotted by Junmar, two points for Brondial, but Brian Santos, we talked about him at the top of our coverage. In the ball game here, he is always, uh, he always adjusts the game with a little pace, Caradipio gets another three-pointer to go and Converge are waxing hot from beyond the arc. Waits for the pick, refuses it, attacks, and they go to Stockton in the corner, and Stockton gets the flush. For Coach George, it's about taking one careful step at a time and keeping their minds away from the standings. He wants to see his team playing like a unit and just playing their own brand of basketball. Back to the panel. Thank you so much, as Gabriel, for that report. As CJ Perez flashes home a three here, the first three. I thought in the first few minutes, San Miguel once again had a flat start. They were not able to defend the three point line very well, so it had to take that one timeout by Coach George Gallen. That is why Moto Tua played 29 minutes against Terra Firma. And uh, it's chance after chance here for the Converge Piper Xers, and they eventually get to the ball. Caralipio getting. We're running back and forth here. Right now, a lot of cardio, no baskets. Simon and Ciso changes that. Oh, this is another guy who's not really getting the minutes. Off Mo Daudua there. Here's Magenberg attacking Big Manuel. Magenberg, that is a tough look. Cue the timeout here. It is a two-point lead for Converge Fiber Xers. Let's take a look at this again. Madden Bird taking Vic Manuel by himself, avoiding CJ Perez. And the guy who gets the ball to Ryan Atuas, uh, Justin Arana, I'm sorry, in the area where in he can just score at will. Four-point lead here for Converge Fiber Xers. And Fleming pulls up for three, gets that to go. Oh, very impressive confidence. Find Santos, great ball movement. Magdenberg attacking short chop up, great ball movement, and Nieto gets a nifty finish. A spectacular offensive execution, a nine points, and just the excitement that you can see from everyone, even the players on the bench. And, the and if you need to do extra minutes because of overtime, you still have to do it. But what is nice is they're actually maintaining this lead. They now have their biggest lead of 12. Ahead, uh, Pau and I said the Converge up by 12 points. And officially, they're really up they by are. 12 points. Their biggest lead in the game. Oh, make that nine, Coach. Because Terrence Romeo oh, yes. heard you talking and saying, let's, let's turn, turn it down to a single digit lead. Advantage for them as we take a look at first that space given to Terrence Romeo. And if you def don't defend that, you can see that uh, they're playing with a relatively small lineup. We're talking about Converge. So. They just don't have to concentrate on defending Jun Marfard because you look at San Miguel and the number of tall players that they have. There is no way that Converge would actually be leading in that department. But again, he wants a review. He wants to challenge that call. He felt like a continuation should be given to Alex Stockton. He is our leading rebounder. And uh, that is more than 13 rebounds per game. Darren's Romeo still waxing hot from beyond the arc. CJ Perez bringing that back to Trolliano. And right now playing four out, one in. Jumar Fajardo, the sole man inside. And CJ Perez splashes home a three. Winning in the first two quarters is this uh, Converge Fiber Xers team. That rebound or a steal was translated to a three-pointer. And what is the difference at this point? They're trying to quicken the pace, the speed component is a huge advantage right now for the Fiverr Xers. And the three-point shots have not gone away here so far in this game. Seven of 19 for Converge. And Terence Romeo once again with his red-hot shooting from beyond the arc. 
is the best shooter from Rainbow Country for the Beermen. Stockton going inside, the blow by and the finish, and Chris Ross is wondering where the help was. Two things that the Stockton did. He called uh, Brian Santos, bring him out, set, give me a pick. And in doing so, he brought Junmar Fajardo out as well. And that left Stockton wide open with his uh, unmolested layup. Here's Chris Ross attacking Flemings. And it is Marshall Lasser with a rare back-to-back -back miss from beyond the arc in the same possession. CJ Perez. To get the offensive rebound and look at CJ. Look at how good he is. Just finding a tiny opening using that quick sidestep. Well, we had a chat with Gabriel a while ago who mentioned that one of the keys of Converge is to limit Jumar Fajardo. They've been doing that so far. And they've been draining threes as well as a Converge Fiber Xers. Here is what we expected. High fatigue cardio coming from the Converge Fiber Xers. And Arana with a little bump gets two. And you even have the bench of Converge asking for a flopping violation on Brundiala. Good read by Justin Arana. He knows that he has that quick disadvantage against Junmar. If it is just against Brundial, he can easily score off him. But Marcio Lassiter finally coming alive, hitting his first three-pointer in the ball game. He's shooting over 52% from deep. And he's bound to make that one. Well, he was bound to make it, coach, and that for the Converge Fiber Access. Take a look at this again, Arana. A little bump on Brandial, and they were asking for a flopping violation. Every time Junmar gets the ball, the defense reacts, and that leaves the shooters open. So that forced the hand of Coach Alden Ayo to call a timeout because Junmar is now the biggest star in the offense of San Miguel. But look at that, because Marshall Lasseter got into an early group here to start facilities in the third quarter. You know that he's a rhythm shooter. He's got 11 points here in the third. And Stockton answers back with three of his own, but you made a point, Coach. Marshall Lester has a rhythm here. He had a very slow shooting day in the first half. It's changing so far. Rodney Brondial misses from close range. Second chance effort, June Marbardo now at 10 points. Let's take a look at this again, Coach. You have Marshall Lasseter coming right into form here. And of course, Alex Stockton answering back with three of his own. Alex again shot has from beyond the arc as Santos misses out. Not afraid to shoot, but the shot hasn't really found Brian Santos in this game. Uh, the four of 12 from beyond the arc. And oh my goodness, Marshall Lasseter. Still high five to Coach George Gallen. Now you ask me, why are they up? It is because of this guy. He's just unconscious from Rainbow Country. Oh, Marshall. I thought it was an aberration. Yeah, it, it was going. An imposter played. It was going to be dragging down. And he's up, and he's in. Marshall Lassiter with another three. He's also been on point, only limiting Converge at this point to only eight points. And make that 10 after Alex Stockton will try to drag them back into this one. And eight points in this game so far. CJ Perez feeding the Kraken, gets it back, and CJ contorts for two. Here, this is a complete turnaround to what we've seen a while ago. This best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. And of course, uh, just, just out of curiosity, for those wondering uh, where Marshall Astler is, he says plus 21. <laughs> As Alton Melesho drains three. He can shoot that one. He just needs to find open spots. Well, the three-point basket actually has abandoned the Converge Fiber Xers this quarter. They were so good shooting in the first half. And here's Don Trolliano continuing the three-point part here for San Miguel Beerman. And there is no stopping this efficient San Miguel engine. A penetrate and kick option. Marshall Lassiter attacking the defense, throwing a lot of defenders and kicking it out to his open teammate, Don Trulliano. Winston almost lost the handle, swing that around to Arana. That's an easy bucket for him. Pull up Jay, right beyond the free throw line, no good. And oh, CJ Perez with the touchdown. What a pass by Drew Marfajardo. Jun Marfajardo once again with a defensive rebound. Let's see what Don Trolliano will do. He'll oh. get an end one. And Don Trolliano continues a dominant quarter here for the San Miguel Beermen. Now at 87-66. And Don Trolliano getting the foul. Easy call for the referee to make. And when we return, he will have a bonus. Can go away. It has deserted them in the third quarter. They were knocking it in in the first two quarters. That's why they led by seven. 
But now it's the other way around. The story has flipped. The script is obviously favoring San Miguel. 50 points in a quarter. As Alex Stockton comes in with two to make it a 20 point quarter from Converge. Rebound. Here's Nieto. Oh, and what a block from Motautua who couldn't get out of his own way. And San Miguel Beermen are known for doing just that. Jaron Tang on the attack. Oh, the reverse falls short. Alex Stockton on the tack, on the move, trying to manufacture a little comeback here for themselves. And Alex Stockton trims the lead down to 20. And looking very good to be able to continue their undefeated run here in the conference. As Don Trolliano with an easy stab inside. Again, the ball getting in the hands of their big man. And a lot of uh, players from Converge, especially playing the weak side, were just happy ball watching. That was the opening for Don Trolliano to attack by cutting and scoring on that play. And Don Trolliano with a turnover here. Don Trolliano with another good finish. Another easy finish. And the San Miguel beer men have really turned the game on its head in the second half. Magdenberg inside. Oh, nice pass. And Nieto. Fed by Magdenberg right on the plate. For the Fiber Xers, it's an uphill battle, but they know that if they play the way they did in the first two quarters, they have a good chance to make things interesting again. Back to you, Paolo and Coach Argy. Well, let's, let's see if they can make it interesting here, Gab. And of course, uh, the different energy from Coach Alden Ayo and the rest of the bench. Again, no surprise, Coach, because they were in the receiving end of a 51-point uh, third quarter. But let's see whether or not they can change things here. Terence Romeo pulls up for three, misses everything, but Don Trolliano there at the right time. So now they're allowing a lot of second chance points. Nobody in front of Don Trolliano. Just being at the right place and at the right time. Quick put back for the Don. Add another two points for the Beerman. Well, this is a reminder, coach, that we were talking about and praising how the Converge Fiber Extras would end possessions after the first shot as Don Trolliano will cherry pick another two. See often. But with Marshall Lassiter, this is not going to be the last time. We're going to see it again and again. Oh yeah, absolutely, coach. And uh, just a correction there. Five of six from beyond the arc was Marshall in the third quarter. And it's Romeo. On attack, finding Jaron Teng. Could not hit the three. As the Converge Fiber Xers trying to make the score a bit more respectable here. We'll go inside talking about Arana. And a chance to score two. Uh, score a bonus rather. But look at them again. Running and scoring on the break. That is what they missed in the third quarter. They did not have a lot of chances to run. But Paolo and Coach RG, it is a different story today with Marshall burying Converge with five triples and taking that shot every single time he has the green light. Let's see whether or not he can add on to his count here. Stockton. Set three, gets three. Oh, Alex Stockton is just a constant contributor for Converge. Right now, up to 27 points in this game. Talking about Stockton. Remember, his career high was at 31, which he hit in the last game. Jaron Dang misses there. And of course, Stockton. Can he make it back to back career games? We'll see. Stockton handing that off. And the push shot, no good. Caralipio has it. And will score two. Cue the timeout here, because the lead is starting to shrink. Still sizable, still a 15-point lead here for San Miguel Beerman. Around, already past the five-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Terrence Romeo, pull-up jumper. That's good. And at this point, Coach, it just feels like the San Miguel Beerman are just... Santos with the three-pointer, still no dice. And Arana misses from close range. Second chance, gets that to go. There were three players who scored in double digits in the third quarter for the San Miguel Beermen. That is Marshall Lasseter who led it with 17. Then CJ Perez and Don Trolliano had 11 points each. That's been that type of game here for the San Miguel Beermen. Stockton looking to add on and that is his career high. Officially. Stockton. Yes. 33 point performance. But there's a huge drop after the 11.6 points per game of Santos. The next leading scorer is uh, Tom De Los Santos with just 4.3 points per game, but another three. Uh, the Fiber Xers. It is just uh, really the this display of uh, strength uh, by San Miguel. 112-103 is the final score.